All right, I just picked up this small pneumatic polisher kit from Harbor Freight. It's a 15 CFM at 90 PSI. It comes with an, a white pad, a polishing pad, and then this stiffer orange pad. So I'm gonna start off with this orange pad. And I'm gonna use uh, Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish on this uh, aluminum Alcoa. It's a 20, uh, 22 and a half inch semi-truck tire. I'll get a little bit on here. black ready. Let me grab another towel so I can take the black stuff off and put this stuff on. These wheels are pretty dirty. Start seeing it coming back, but it's gonna take a while, I feel like. I also have it on the high setting, it's adjustable. runs $35 it doesn't feel like a cheap tool I use the 20% off so I paid like I don't know like 27 or 28 bucks for it wheels got a lot of pits in it Still looks bad. It's gonna take forever. Gonna do uh, six of these wheels.
I thought it was gonna be worse than this, this tool. It's actually not bad. It's just gonna take a while because these wheels are so dirty. speed. Starting to rip right here already. That was my fear that I'd be running through these pads so fast on so many wheels. I'm not putting that much pressure on it either. I should probably be somewhere in the middle here. Please fly by my head and it's ripping right here. I grabbed a few other things. I got this cone the drill to get in these holes here I got two these are like I don't know like four dollars each or something I got these if I wanted to um get like a lip around that lip here I'm gonna have to take the wheel off to get the, the center anyway and then here's the problem with this this tool is cheap but this is what they sell as replacement pads these don't have those cone shapes on the front on the top so these are just like a flat pad and I forget, there's the model number if you want to look it up, but they were like marked at like $14.99 and I think they were on sale for like $11.49. So that like that seems pretty expensive. Especially if you don't need these again. You just want like two pads, that seems like a lot of money for that. Especially if they don't last that long. might have to get like a four and a half inch disc that will go on a grinder to do this or even maybe a, a larger grinder than a four and a half inch grinder so I can just lay into this and Cause that's not doing anything really there's so many pits still I mean the wheel's not in the best shape but it actually looks cleaner on camera than in real life in real life it looks like crap This has probably been on here 100,000 miles without ever being cleaned. It looks good in the camera. I don't know. I'd say it's worth it. I wouldn't buy it for a job like this size if you're doing uh, 22 and a half, like all of them, like four of them or more than four. But it feels like a good quality tool. 
my issue is if you can find a place to get these pads cheaper, there's just like Velcro three inch pads, then maybe it's worth it. But I don't know for me, it's not, I'm not going to do all my wheels with this. I'm going to have to figure out something else. I even feel like just these for four bucks would probably be better if you have a corded drill, so you're not going to burn through batteries. Or if you have a pneumatic setup. Alright, if you guys want to see more videos, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys.